Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the network user interface in Linux. So Linux network interface can be confusing for a lot of people who are just getting started. So I'm going to give you an overview so that you can understand it very easily. So I'm not going to make, uh, you know, things very difficult. I'm not going to jump into the deep concepts. Rather, I'm just going to keep it simple. Okay. I'm just going to keep it simple. So we write here our first command, uh, which is IP space link. If we hit enter, now you can see we have here three um, network interfaces. Uh, the number one is this LO, which stands for uh, Linux host. And these are two Ethernet, um, you know, Ethernet inter network interface. OK, so the first one, the second one, the first one is LO. The second one is uh, ENP2SO, the third one is WLP3SO. Okay, so uh, let me explain it a little bit. So here you can see this is actually essentially, um, you know, the MAC address. It tells us that it is the Ether link, the Ethernet. This one is also an Ether link, but this one is the Linux host. Okay, so if you see here, we have uh, up here and we have up here as well and we have up here as well so you can see what does this app means it means that it is ready and available and it can be used so it doesn't mean that always you'll be using um, these interfaces up just tells you that it is available so it doesn't mean that uh, it is being used it means that it is available to use okay so that sort of up also means that kernel thinks that this this is available this right here okay this up also means that the kernel is you know um, confirming the availability of this network user interface okay so right here lower up it is very uh, essential so where when you will see lower up it just means that it has established a link at the physical layer of the network. If you have studied networking, uh, you know, um, there are like seven layers of network and one of them is like physical layer of the network. So this lower up just means that you have established a connection with the physical layer. All right. So you can see that here we have lower up, but here we do not have lower up, right? And here we have lower up as well. So what does that mean? That means that these two network interfaces, they are like in use. They, they, they are, of course, they are going to have their IP addresses, but this one, it is not going to have any IP address because it is not in use and it is not has yet established a connection or a link with the physical layer. Okay. So we will also see the, um, you know, the IP addresses. So how do we check them? We'll write here IP ADDR. We hit enter. Let me just clear up the screen so that we don't see that mess and we just focus on the output. So right now you can see that this is essentially the default uh, IP address. Every time you're going to check it here, it is going to be here. And this right here uh, is the IP address of the net, uh, the network interface number three, which is essentially WLP3SO. And this one is second one ENP2SO, which doesn't have any IP address. It just has a MAC address because it is not yet connected to the physical layer. Okay. So um, there's one more thing that you can do. You can write here man IP link and you'll be able to see all those commands that, that you can use. So if you write here IP link help, you'd be able to see everything related to it. The help that is available. You can actually delete any sort of device using IP link delete. Uh, you can also, you know, set the IP link, the address, the name and uh, the types as well. Um, you can also uh, check the stats. Okay. Um, you can also add any virtual link if you want to. You know, all of that help is available right on your fingertips if you just type man IP link. So I would recommend you, you go ahead and you try some of those commands so you get an idea about it. And then if you want to check about ADDR, so you can see here as well, uh, you have all those, you know, options available here, uh, you, for version, for human. Uh, so the human, 
the negative h this is a command which represents the output st uh, statistics with the human readable values followed by suffix okay so then we have a negative d or hyphen d which represents the details which essentially output more detailed information than you what you see on your uh you know terminal okay so all of these shortcuts you can use as well for family inet inet6 bridge and decnet and ipx mpls and family links okay so these are the shortcut negative four negative six six negative b negative d negative i and negative m okay so you can go on and on you can you you can dig deeper you know you can try a lot of things if you want to so that was the brief introduction that i have given to you today about the uh, network user interfaces in in linux so i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new and uh, i will see you in the next video